You're watching The Roach on Florida TV. Shark survivors. Yes, we've shark all, bite we've all survivors. Been, yeah, you know, be a big picture. Yeah. There's was, a lot. Yeah. Man, people don't realize, man, this this strip of beach is just yeah. sort of mysterious. Um, you know, like you said, you're you're probably not gonna be eaten alive or dragged out to sea no. by one of these things because they usually bite, right? They bite and, and spit out. It doesn't taste like fish. Because they're basically chasing fish. When, when you see a shark jump out of the water, they're spinning in the air. What they've done is they've hit a bait ball of fish, and they're just going up through the middle like a corkscrew. And we weren't really sure what they were doing. Sometimes some people said, "Well, they're trying to get parasites off their body. They're doing this. They're doing that." But I saw one one time jump, and he was spinning 100 miles an hour, and a piece of fish goes flying out of his mouth, and just from the centrifugal force of him spinning. And I went, there you go. He was feeding. Right. You know, so there it is. So, yeah, we're, we're let's talk about that photo you took uh, years back and uh, really became like a, <laughs> a national sensation. Uh, take take us back. You were shooting a buddy of yours surfing at the time, right? No, he wasn't even a buddy. I just when I shoot down there, I'll just shoot everybody if they're surfing good. You know, I've been surfing so long. I can tell when somebody's a good surfer and, and you never know. You might get a great picture. Right. So. I'm uh, get my my buddy Skipper comes walking up to me, and I said I'm going to go down and shoot for a second. Walk down here when the waves were small; there was only like three feet maybe. So we walk down to the water line and we're standing there talking. And this guy takes off on a wave, and he does a little cut back on this wave, and I'm you know I shoot three photos of the thing, and. Skipper says, did you get that? And, you know, you, sometimes you have tunnel vision. Sure, you're just things. You're concentrating. Yeah, um, I'm focusing on the surfer. And I'm, and he goes, did you get that? And I go, yeah. And I look at my camera, and I back it up a couple of frames. And there's a shark coming right out of the water, three frames. And I go, are you kidding me? And I said, I didn't even see that. And he goes, wow, you got that. I go, yeah. So I walked up to uh, my truck, I think, a couple minutes later. And there were a bunch of surfer guys standing there that I knew, and I went over and showed them the picture. They freaked out. So I put it on Surfline that night, which was a, a surf site. Right. And I got all these hits on it, like instantly, you know. And I woke up the next morning, and Jason Allen from Channel 9 called me, and he's a surfer. And he goes, Kim, can I come over and, you know, talk to you about that shark picture that you took? And I said, Yeah. Uh, meet me at the inlet in the morning about 10.30. So we, he shows up, and we do a little interview, blah, 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 and he, he talks all about it. And uh, I end up, you know, leaving. And so later that evening, they had it on the news, and it blew up so heavily that they put it on the ABC server in New York. And any of the affiliates in the whole country can just snap it up like that. All of a sudden, they they all snapped it up, and the next day... CNN, NBC, CBS, ABC, Inside Edition, everybody was calling. My phone was ringing off the hook. And I wonder, <laughs> are you kidding me? This is this is no big deal. It needs somebody else for a show. Oh, it was a big deal. Them. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, we see it all the time. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, it went like worldwide viral in no time. And I was getting calls from all over the world. And uh, I think, who was it? Um Barcroft Media in England called me and said, we want to license that photo from you. And I said, okay, uh, let me check a couple other things. And I got a bidding war between some guys in New York and these guys. And they gave me the best deal. It was a 60-40 split. I got 60. So I licensed it to them. And they sold it all over the world for a couple of years. And uh, I made about $11,000 off that photo. Wow. Just for a half for a just second. For just for just... Did you, well, you really didn't even know what you took at the time, no, just the, the, other than the surfer. The yeah. shark photobombed me is what happened. Shark photobombed you. That's good. Yeah. yeah. It was a, uh, the, the picture we're, we're looking at, it's a, a black tip? Is that what yeah. that is? Uh -huh. how, how old of a shark would that be? Do we know? or How old what? How old of a shark would that be? Full grown? Oh, I or? don't know. He was six six feet long, so... I don't know how how they age or, you know. And what's the theory? He was jumping up for food or? Yeah, I would think so, yeah. Yeah. And there's there's two guys in the photo. Uh, you can see it on my website, uh, KimMcNair.com. But uh, you could you could see him, the guy in the back and the surfer, never even saw the shark, didn't even know it was there at all. It just happened to jump right in my picture. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. 
So how often when you're swimming and surfing in these waters will you see uh, a shark just swimming by? Is it often? When it's when the water's clear? Eh, whenever. All yeah. the time. All the time. It's no problem <laughs> to ride up when the waves are five, six feet, to ride a wave and see three different sharks on the same wave. Like they're there all the time. And when it's dirty, you're not seeing them, but they're there. They're still swimming around doing their thing. Can you distinguish them between? Because I, I I go to that area a lot. Can you distinguish them between dolphins? Is it easy to oh, spot absolutely. them? Yeah, yeah. Dolphins don't swim anything like sharks. Right. If you see a shark swimming and you see his dorsal fin, you'll usually see his tail fin because it's vertical, the same uh, area as his as his dorsal fin, and so his tail goes left to right, back and forth, and a dolphin tail is horizontal and it goes up and down so if you see a fin come up and there's no tail behind it it's a dolphin usually 99 percent of the time you know? right so he may have you know had his tail dragging down on the water but usually you know it's it's a dolphin with no no tail fin and then a shark if it has a tail fin i know um kathleen who's in studio here years ago i don't know this is i don't know 10 15 years ago um we were down at New Smyrna, probably standing in, I don't know, knee deep water, maybe. I don't know, not, not even that. And all of a sudden, like right, in, right front in front of you. Sure. And I even said to her, I said, did you just see that? And she goes, yeah. And I go, was that a shark? She goes, yeah. I mean, it was in, you know, but it was like a bullet coming flying by. He was obviously chasing fish, fish or something. Yeah. So to think like when you're, you know how like when you go with your family or you just go swimming in the, you know, this particular area and you think, oh, I'm only in a, you know, I can see everything. Mm -hmm. you can, they still come in that water. <laughs> They'll still come in. I, 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 was, I think they would beach themselves if they could, you know, if they were chasing well, food. they're pushing fish up against yeah, the shore. Yeah, as much doing. as they can. Yeah. yeah. They got half of the equation is in their favor. Right. Now. So uh, a few months ago I was surfing and I came riding a wave in. And I was in a just, I usually ride my longboard all the way to the fin hits, and then I'll step off in ankle deep water. And the lifeguard tower was right in front of me. And as I was riding in, here comes a, about a five or six foot blacktop swimming right toward the rail of my board. And I went right past him. And about another four or five feet, here's another one swimming right along. And I get to the beach and step off and look, and there's a lady and two little kids out there, you know, 30 feet past where I just went and I yelled at the lifeguard and I go dude you need to get these people in and there there's two sharks right here and he blew his whistle and you know said you know come in so I was concerned for their safety because they're just standing there well know? we've all seen the aerial video of you know from the helicopters or the planes and you know from here to Miami and there's people you know thousands of people swimming and there's a you know nine foot shark swimming right next to him and the people have no clue yeah. you know we've all seen that so you know it's probably best that we don't know what <laughs> what's lurking near us i've, huh? I've got a, a crazy little story i was down on bethune beach uh, a couple months ago my brother was down and they had rented a house right there on the ocean and we're up on the second floor and the water the waves were super teeny like and this kid about nine year old kid had walked out through the first slough and onto the second sandbar and the water was crystal clear and I looked down the beach, and there's this big brown thing coming down the beach, and I couldn't tell what it was. And I go, oh, no, this, it's either a school of fish, it's a manatee, it's a shark, it's not a dolphin. I would know a dolphin. And it's kind of going along under the water, and it gets a little bit closer, and all of a sudden I see a, a snout poke up, and it's a manatee. And I get to my relatives, there's a bunch of them standing on the floor, they go, watch this, this is going to be hilarious. Because <laughs> manatee are super inquisitive. And this kid's standing in waist-deep water looking to the south, and the, and the manatee's coming from the north. And he goes right over and bumps into this kid. Oh, my goodness. And the kid freaked. Oh, I can imagine. Well, you he know jumped how about 10 feet you know how big, air you know, manatees just are. saw this big thing behind him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he took out running on top of the water almost to get to the beach. So. Have a heart attack. Yeah. yeah, you know, sea cows, I mean, they're just... Huge, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and they're ever, real friendly. Too. Yeah, they are. But even like when you swim with them, when they all of a sudden they make a sudden move too, it's mm -hmm. like this giant. No more roach on Florida TV.